start? Huh? Should we get started? Yeah. This is awkward because I'm not used to recording with you. Mm -hmm. So I feel so really awkward. Huh? A little. A little. <laughs> I don't know what to say, honestly. Can I introduce myself or are you introducing me? It's your channel. I feel like you should introduce me. Hey, y'all. Um, the long awaited fiance. Oh. Is <laughs> What's my name? I'm just fiance to you. That's what okay, I am. Okay. Say it. I am a, win I'm a man of many names, actually, and I have many hats. Um, one of them, one of them is future husband, and uh, my name is Winston. Last name Terrell. People also call me Bryce. Why are you putting your full government name, government name out there? Because, because why not? Yeah, it's fine, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I go with my middle name and my first name. Uh, nice to finally meet you guys. I've been a, a long time commenter anonymously. <laughs> And her YouTube videos. This so, is true. Um, this is nice to be here. Okay, so as y'all saw, um, I'm going to be interviewing him. So I've been wanting to do a video like this for a long time, but I didn't know how to structure it. I didn't know if I wanted to be like couples Q and A or like Beyonce tag. Anyway, mm -hmm. hopefully this is interesting. All right. I don't want to waste too much time. I came up with these questions and I may add in my little two cents or whatever. I don't know what I'm being asked. Answer honestly and you are not allowed to plead the fifth. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. The first question is, why did you want to marry me in particular? <laughs> <laughs> um, why did I want to marry Kai? Yeah, let's get easy. Um, I already know the answer to these questions. I, I just want y'all to know I'm not, you know, no surprises here. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. She's trying That's to say that we communicate uh, <laughs> before we actually get married. Like, right, too. right. No, in fact, just because some people be like, oh really? I didn't know that. I didn't know you had a brother. <laughs> uh, why did I want to marry Kai? Man, um, <laughs> well, she's amazing. <laughs> um, I guess so. Like, I like, how how limpy of an answer should I give you? Uh, so basically, I I pursued her. She didn't like me at first. So I'm I'm saying this to add context, okay? Um, and uh, you know, I was in my uh, I, focus on myself era. Yeah. If anyway, you, <laughs> if you know, you know. Okay. That's what you asked me the question. Uh, you asked me the question. Okay, Thank okay, you. I appreciate right. that. Anyway, uh, I so I, I got two cents. I asked her. <laughs> You know, be my girlfriend, yada yada, and she wasn't really feeling it. But you know, with enough with enough pushing, you know, <laughs> she eventually started to like me with enough consistency, with enough loving on. She eventually decided that she wanted to be my girlfriend, and you know, yada yada yada, right? So I say that to say that okay, once I knew I had her, you know, what I'm saying okay, how do I decide if I want to marry her? So basically, <laughs> why did you want me? Yeah, so I'm getting to it. Uh, <laughs> so basically, um, Kai, for one, like let's just start with, let's just start with bare minimum, like not minimum, but like things she just already has, right? She's wait. <laughs> uh, let's start with what she already has, right? She's an intellectual, right? She has a relationship with God. She's beautiful, and her hobbies directly affect me, as in her love for cooking. <laughs> She's pretty good at it too, right? So let's let's just let's look look at those those things, uh, and then it's like, wow, that's a great person. How do I know she's right for me? Which I just want to add because I know there's people out there don't even try it and be like, I cook for him because I've been cooking before I met him. So that's just my thing in and of myself. And yeah. yes, he obviously is a beneficiary. I am. She's amazing. <laughs> she liked to cook for everybody and I get this a little. Is true. <laughs> anyway, so yes, yeah, she already had all these great things and um, just a leader, all that, right? And so. As we were doing relationship, you know, I'm like, hey, I want to be loved like this because, you know, although I know you're a great person, all these things in a nutshell, can you love me like 
can you love me well within a relationship though? Because that's a whole kind of different thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're great, you have so many great qualities, but that's you as an individual. Bringing, in, bringing you into a relationship, let's see, like, do you love me well, right? So I was trying to, trying to yeah. figure out, okay, does Kai love me well? That'll be a determining factor in whether or not I'm gonna marry her, right? Mm -hmm. Cause so, again, for context, I wasn't feeling it for real from the beginning, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't that into it or, yeah, available. Yeah, yeah, so, um, you know, but with enough time, you know, it's not like I had a, like, uh, a certain time limit, you know, that like she didn't love me well by year year eight, you know, <laughs> then, you know, it would be over. But like, you know, I just took time to prayer and to, you know, some intentionality, Co communication. Yeah, that's good. It's communication. A lot of y'all. Uh, and so I talked to her like, hey man, I want to be loved like this. And you're like, uh, at first. <laughs> yeah, I was like. Mm, at first. And somewhere along the way, she just uh, started doing it, but then going above and beyond. And I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> yep. Uh, this, is, this, is nice. this is why I want to marry her. Um, but then also some other things. Uh, but that's like the main thing. That's the main thing. Um, as far as I would answer that question so to make it long story somewhat short. Mm. Yes, the intentionality that you ended up showing. I was like, oh man, she really, she wants okay, this. She, she wants to like, purposeful and yeah, it's it. the long haul, you know? <laughs> Next. Do you feel like we'll be affected by getting married, quote unquote, young? For context, you guys, we both just turned 23. So, okay. yeah. Sure. Yeah. But yeah, how do you feel about, in other words, how do you feel about getting married? Again, quote unquote, young. <laughs> Uh, how do I feel about getting married? Yeah, I think it's uh, amazing, actually. Why do I think it's amazing? Uh, we have so many years to be married, right? Uh, people look at marriage as something that is uh, a shackle, something that ties them down, uh, a hindrance, you know, someone you have to be with for the rest of your life, answer to yada, 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 yada right? Which, in some of those cases, is truth. Someone you have to be with 24-7. Um, yeah, that's some truth. Yeah. Um, but we don't look at marriage that way, right? Um, we look at it as uh, really an opportunity, and the sooner the better, right? And so, once we were wise enough and kind of talked to God enough about each other, talked to mentors about each other, and decided we wanted to get married. Um, we just we view it as something that's joyous, you know. And so starting it early, it's really dope uh, because now we get to spend even more time with each other for the rest of our lives, right? Mm -hmm. In our youth and all that good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like when you're intentional with someone, that person's intentional with you. More specifically, when I am loving on someone. And that person is loving on me, yes. right? <laughs> like that feeling is unmatched. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. That's okay. yeah. That's just like, and but people run run away from it. They run away from being tied down, yada yada yada. But at the same time, they're not. They don't have a healthy picture of what marriage should look like yeah. as well. That and then they don't realize they're chasing that, and they can never go as deeply into it as it was meant to be because they're always bumping onto the next thing. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, it's, you know, they never get to the level, honestly, of like intimacy that they desire from like these like situationships and companionship that they desire from, you know, mm -hmm. these quick relationships or whatever, whatever, you know. Yeah. yeah. Is that, um, say more? I, I guess I could say more. <laughs> How many questions do we have? <laughs> uh, well, written down, I have more. I started with a few and then I know we have more as we went along. Um, so like, I think I only had one more written down, but okay. yeah, I, I want to add two cents on to that last question. I also yeah. just want to say like, I feel like 23, honestly, we both just turned 23. So before it was like, how do you feel about getting married at 22? 23, especially I'm just like, that's not that young. Y'all remember back in the day when people used to be like married by 22, kids by 25. 
when you think about it, it's not that young. Yeah. By this age, you know, we've been through college. We did we've matured. Stuff, yeah. We did. But yeah. now y'all are, it's, it it's seems young. Changed, yeah. Right, it seems young because y'all lives didn't work out the way you wanted it to. <laughs> That's why it seems so young. Which is understandable That's because true. I think so. I feel like we got older and realized, oh, shoot, like, you know, at 22, it's still a lot to learn. We're still barely just getting on our feet, you know, like right. I've talked That's about. That's what people think. Yeah, which is understandable, but that doesn't mean that... I think the maturity level, some for some people again, because to each his own, but mm -hmm. for us in particular, uh, the maturity level, the, uh, the, I guess, what is the word? Just the preparedness, I think, you know, um, and the wisdom is there. So not to, um, you know, to our own horns, but like legitimately just putting in the work to be right within ourselves, I think makes a person, you know, is what you should look at, like the wisdom, the, the again, the maturity is what makes a person, I think, yeah, more ready at this age than, than not. So anyway. Yeah, no, I, I was, I, that's probably what I was gonna speak to too, like people just thinking that, you know, we're too young to marry is, um, it's just, I guess it's wild because what people often do, what people don't, when I even get that question, it's like, you don't even know no, me. I was just about to say that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, That's the crazy part. You don't they know say where that I'm without being Exactly, and right. But him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you don't know, For right? Real. And so what they do is they can't, they compare us to how yeah, they the were. Yeah, the rest of them. Yeah. And then they, were, the when they married when we were their age and things mm -hmm. didn't work out necessarily. Yeah. Even knowledge wise, like, we have so much knowledge. Like, knowledge, the knowledge of 22 year olds today, just about like communication and healthy relational skills and like healthy mental health skills. Like that was not there back in the day, especially. And that's still not there in a lot of people our age today, understandably, but that doesn't automatically mean, you know, yeah, I know plenty of people, depending on who you choose to surround yourself with, I can say for like most of the people in our circles, it's just like, you know, they have a certain maturity level. They are all the type of people who, um, you know, are at least seek to be wise and definitely seek to follow God, you know? So it's just yeah. like, we're not just out here being ignorant, <laughs> you know? Yeah. We just, honestly, we, you know, God has matured us to where we are now, right? But also like, not even, but also in him doing that, you know, he's put married couples in our in, in uh, our close spaces, like people we just talk to, go to for advice, uh, have fun with, are friends with, you know what I'm saying? Healthy, healthy relationships that give us advice as well. And so, you know, we don't necessarily come from, I don't know if I can say this, but you can edit it out if you want. But we don't necessarily come from <laughs> the best you. examples yeah. of that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. we had, so we, you know, we ended, but we found some, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, no, that's valid. Yeah. Um, okay, I have another question. It's a more lighthearted question. Oh. <laughs> oh. What is the like goofiest thing that like you appreciate about our relationship? Like something like people maybe wouldn't anticipate, or is that unique to us? Um, but something like specific to us that you appreciate our, about our relationship. Something cool or fun? Uh, I'm gonna just answer it when I heard the first few words of the question. <laughs> um, I appreciate how goofy we are and that yeah. we just are some Goop. goobers. <laughs> like, she's so like that. <laughs> <laughs> she'll be, she'll be like to some of the goofy stuff around <laughs> around me <laughs> but it's like it's whatever you know she goofy but I'll, I'll be doing the same thing you know uh we like being like kids in front of each other and i think that's really cool she's not afraid to you know i think she'd be a little too intimate with me <laughs> but as far as it's like why are you showing me your snot um, anyway um but yeah, I mean, no, like that's really, and we do it in front of others too. Mm -hmm. um, and I think people witness, witness that, I think mm -hmm. that that's cool. Yeah. See how comfortable you are around. Yeah. Each, that's each a, other. That's a good word. Yeah. Comfortable. 
that wouldn't hit the place. Mm -hmm. like it, wasn't, it, was, <laughs> it wasn't great, but it was still a moment. Okay. That wasn't our best, but that's alright. It is alright, because y'all gonna see our best. <laughs> right, just wait. Then, then, then. <laughs> this is my being interviewed pose. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna talk with my hands like this. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, yeah, that was a good one. Alright, the next one I had written down, which is like, again, kind of a little bit more serious. <laughs> what? It's just okay. No, that's okay. You're just, you're just mixing in light hearts and yeah. serious ones. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh. Do you feel weird about getting married in a generation where marriage isn't, isn't popular? Uh, no, I don't feel weird. Yeah. I already knew the answer to that question again at this point. These are just probing questions. Uh, is that it? What? Is that the question? Yeah. Um, no, I don't feel weird. Um, you know, again, man, like, I have just, I've devoted myself to Christ, right? So within that, within that whole line of, of, of faith, right? Within that whole line of thinking, you know, you got you to be getting used to not doing something that everybody else is going to be doing. You got to be getting used to people even commenting on that, you know, but still doing it. Um, <laughs> and so, um, what was the actual question? Do I know? Do I feel I said, about it? I said, I framed it different. I said, do you feel weird about it? I feel weird about it. Yeah. Sorry, my knee started hurting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no. And I just feel like, again, God is like, God approved of me marrying her. Uh, what does that mean? What does that mean? Let's get into it. All right. <laughs> uh, Let the folks know. So, uh, I guess there's a couple of things. First thing is... Uh, I was, uh, shortly after I proposed, um, there was an instance that I feel like God used to talk to me. And that was, um, uh, this lady. You don't know who's Okay, because I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> anyway, this lady had a note that she wrote from the 1980s. Uh, not even a note, but a book of poems that she wrote about a list of things that she felt like the Holy Spirit led her to write. Woke her up out of the middle of the night to even write some of these things, right? And so um, she came to my job at a branch that I don't usually work at. Mm -hmm. And she said, hey, um, I gotta take my take my stuff out of my safe deposit box. I'm like closing it, whatever. Did you mention that you work at a bank? Just so people aren't confused. I, I work at a bank. <laughs> um, and so she took that stuff so she had a safe deposit box at the bank. She's taking the stuff out of it. It was one of those things with a book of poems. And again from the eighties. Yes. She let me look, look at that. she let me look at the um, table of contents, which basically is just the title and where to find each poem, right? In the in the book of poems. And I looked at the titles and um, basically not even knowing what one of the titles meant. Uh, I didn't even know it was about marriage, I thought it was about God. Um, and I took it, right, and I read it, not even knowing again. Like, so I just, she just said, pick, pick of these. Just point your finger and pick one, whatever looks interesting to you. So I picked that and it ended up being about um, marriage, you know, it ended up being about Adam and Eve, how they came together, et cetera, et cetera. Her thoughts, um, but more so how she would explain what the Holy Spirit was thinking that she should right share down. or write down. And um, I was, like I just proposed and I felt like God was in that moment co-signing, you? you know, and that's long story. There's more things to it mm -hmm. to make that actually crazier. Yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. it was like the other, the other more things make it way more of a coincidence mm -hmm. than it should have been. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was like God had her write that intentionally all that all that time ago. And mm -hmm. Again, it's not like she's just out here publishing these. These were put away. Yes. From the 80s. Yes. He was were you like the first person to see that? See him? Uh, one of the first outside people. Yeah. Yes. Like other than her family type thing, I believe. So. Testimony. Yeah. Anyway, so I feel like he was co-signing with that, you know, which then gave me more like Few, like I was already gonna marry her, right? Like I felt like God had already given me the wisdom necessary to pick someone, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but this, you know, this is just him. I felt like signing off on it. Yeah, bro, that's the one. And I was like, okay, bet. Uh, so I'm gonna do it. So yeah, that's kind of how like 
that that worked and so I don't feel weird. I feel like this is exactly where I need to be doing now, actually. Uh, <laughs> it is interesting though, having conversations with people. So, but I also get to tell them like, hey, no, there's actually like, there's joy in this. You know, find so the right nice. one. And, you know, not to say we don't ever have uh, skirt fuffles. Yeah, and that's, we gotta talk more about that too because some mm -hmm. people might take that the wrong way and that like, a lot of y'all don't know what healthy disagreements look like. <laughs> so yeah. that's not to say like, in other words, when he said like, we don't argue, you know, in a way that is unhealthy, but we don't always agree on everything either. Yeah. So anyway, that's my answer. Um, are we done with the hard questions? <laughs> Uh, we can be. That was the last hard question I had thought of ahead of time. Okay. So let me see. I'll do one more. What would you say if you could like, um, yeah, here, and this will probably, we'll do this to be in the last question because we're pushing uh, maybe 30 minutes by the end of this. Um, leave a comment if you want to see part two, even though I'm probably going to do it anyway. Um, <laughs> leave a comment. <laughs> so they can leave a comment. <laughs> Um, so leave a comment so that he can interview me. Yeah. Part two. Yeah. And you know, yeah. That's not my channel, but yeah. Comment potential questions you might want me to ask her. That would be and good. We might use them. Yes. Okay. Ask us questions. I like that better. Mm -hmm. Comment questions for another video down below. Mm -hmm. Let's get into it. Last question. If you could say something to imagine like this entire generation, so I'm not even just young but young old just people living today in 2023 um what would you tell them about marriage or love and it doesn't have to be like one sentence what what do you think is most important for people to know like if they see us if they see marriage i can kind of guess you know because there's a certain someone that should be at the center of your marriage but <laughs> What would, you, what would you say to the folks? What do you want folks to walk away with? If I were to say something about how I feel like, how I feel about marriage, not how I feel about it, but like. Sure, yeah. yeah. What should people know about What should people know about, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And just um, love in general, even like people seeking relationships. There's, yeah. Yeah. Could be any uh, of that. Yeah. So, kind of how I feel is. With any relationship, especially the one that you know you're gonna commit to for the rest of your life, uh, like she kind of hinted that God needs to be at the center of it, <laughs> right? And with that, now I feel like and with I that though, for you. Sorry. Right, <laughs> with that though comes uh, selflessness, comes the willingness to sacrifice, you know, comes you know kindness, patience, all of that, right? And so, um, none of that is possible without God. So I want people to walk away with that, you know. And also, you know, what real love looks like, man. You know, even if she were to hurt me, you know, me still being able to not affect that, affect how I love her from that. You know what I'm mm, saying? They're not ready for that conversation. And that's vice versa. It is. And so, you know, it's the type of love that, that's, that doesn't fall flat. It's the type of love that's not conditional. Mm. Um, and don't get it twisted. That don't mean I'm not here wild and he just, you know. Yeah. Right. And so, you know, how do people may think, okay, how? How does that happen? How do I have that type of love? God. Yeah. Jesus. Right, I mean, you think about the stuff that he's done for you, as in dying for you, looking out for you, providing for you, right? And this may conflict with your beliefs, um, but that belief, the belief, you know, that that's truth, you know what I'm saying? And so I, I, I live by that and I let that guide and I let that fuel me actually being able to do stuff like that, like loving un unconditionally, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. there's no way I would be able to do it otherwise. Yeah. 
And it's not just talk, if I can, you see. So, like, practically, like, everybody gonna get on each other's nerves, but, like, God really does give you the strength to challenge yourself and say, hey, I might not want to talk right now, but I'm still going to have a conversation with him at the end of the day. Or, hey, I might not feel like, I don't know, spending time with each other. I might feel like being in my bubble, but we need quality time. We need to pour into our relationship. Or, you know, you might not feel like hearing about each other's day. But, like, again, the selflessness, the sacrifice, the patience, and the kindness to be able to <laughs> All right, sorry guys, the camera cut off, uh, ran out of storage, so we gotta finish this quickly. We were pretty much done anyway. I think I was just saying, you know, y'all got the point hopefully that God gives us the strength a lot of times to, to do the hard stuff and to love another person the way that Jesus loved us. <laughs> He's lost focus within this interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all right. All right guys. Um, Again, yeah, that's that's all that's all it's gonna be for this video. Um, thank you, babe. You're welcome. Um, I love you. Love you too. You guys should comment down below both questions and just <laughs> and just your thoughts, comments. Please share. Um, run this up. Run this video up. Subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, stay tuned for the next one. It's gonna be juicy. I'm gonna be in the hot seat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should think about questions too. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. get juicy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not too juicy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>